Hello and welcome to Prime News. Now a look at the headlines. CM says no need to shift Portuguese consulate from Goa. Sudin remains firm on his stand. Churchill refuses to speak on the issue. GBA calls all MLAs for a meet on Regional Plan 2012. Only four MLAs attend. Cabral issues TCP amendment in assembly. Madgaon court directs framing of charges in Bali Uta violence case. Sports Minister Tawadkar faces charges for rioting. Narendra Savaikar discharged. High Court rejects Ramnath Naik's petition on Official Language Act. Petition demanding inclusion of Kokni language in Romi script rejected. And United Nerul win Airtel Beach Football Challenge. Kanduri Sports Club emerge second best. Now, news in detail. No need to shift Portuguese consulate from Goa. Chief Minister Manohar Parrikar has told this in clear words. CM said he will be meeting Consul General shortly. He reacted on Davlika's remarks that the Portuguese consulate in Goa should be shifted to Delhi and that there is no need to show attachment for Portuguese. <laughs> Which is dangerous to the Goa. To three goals. So, I check, I check, frame now. That's a slender. Third day, I know passport given the public. Country chair, our public. The name of the Amso Ferraro. We don't dual citizenship as public. So, go ahead about the third party decision to me support Kurta. Hundred and one percent consulate Jansa, the union minister in Delhi, Uruguay. I have already asked Chief Secretary to ask the Consul General to meet me sometime this week after I talk to him. I will find out what apprehension Sudin has. Those uh, apprehension I will express to him and I will ask them to. There is no need of shifting <coughs> the council. Certain aspect he fears because that may put many Goans in trouble. What he is fearing is uh, don't take it in a wrong sense. So those aspects will have to be taken care by the council. We will talk to them. But after understanding, I am a Home Minister of the state. When we contacted Churchill Alemao for his reaction, this is what he said. Only four MLAs turned up for a meeting called by GBA on Regional Plan 2012. MLA Nilesh Kavral said that GBA's demands will be placed before the government. Kavral also assured to place the Town and Country Planning Act Amendment Bill in the Assembly. Independent MLA Vijay Saradesai has lashed out at the government for cashing on the regional plan issue as the Lok Sabha poll is fast approaching. Goa Bachao Abhiyan has invited all 40 MLAs for a discussion and speedy finalization of Regional Plan 2012. But it seems majority of the MLAs were not interested in attending the meet. Only four MLAs remained present. BJP MLA Nilesh Kabral, Congress MLA Alex Reginald, Goa Vikas Party MLA Miki Pasheko and Independent MLA Vijay Sardesai came for the meet. GBA has called for an immediate solution on the long-pending RP issue. MLAs present for the meet have shown willingness to take RP issue to its logical conclusion. Whatever has happened, Kiriya Dalle, huh? Our Honourable Chief Minister is also aware. So already the plan is going to be opened. So they want a committee which has to be formed, which I will put in the minds of the Honourable CM and what they have expressed. And I don't think there should be any problem in doing what the people want. Now I think people of Goa start uh, uh, 
uh, agitation against this uh, original plan and come out on the street, then only things will be placed. Before, a couple of years back, the same GBA was on the street, okay, fighting against uh, 10 people. At least it was better, 10 people, okay. Now here is I, myself, it is it's like all, 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 all within one, one person. So this will never stop, it will continue. Non go and mean, goinkarang faido jai nastana, baile developerang faido jau pak. Case to case basis, sarkar uh, changes consider karta. Corporate backing modik, prime minister jau pak itle ha. Ya loka je sagaya je investment goya tha. This is linked. This uh, regional plan will be linked to election funding. Actually, I was expecting to see Manohar Parikar for the meeting. Kitya go itle or san GBA meeting da thale, Manohar Parikar te meeting ya asta lo. Manor Parigar is ruling the state for the last two years. He has done nothing. There have been issues. I have been criticizing my own government. I am criticizing the plan of my own government. And I am very clear, whatever the people want has to be done. But we always follow democratic process. Let us negotiate. Let us talk. And there are different options as such. Senior reporter Loki Shilgar with video journalist Omkar Ferrari for Prudent. Sports Minister Ramesh Tawadkar along with eight others will be charged in the Uta violence case. However, BJP's probable Lok Sabha candidate Narendra Savaikar and 11 other activists have been discharged. Minister Tawadkar and others have been charged for serious offences like rioting, unlawful assembly and other similar charges in the violent agitation in May 2011. Madgaon Additional Sessions Judge passed an order on the framing of charges on Monday. Additional Sessions Judge Vandana Tendulkar has ordered framing of charges against nine UTA leaders and members in the Bari Carnage case. Members of scheduled tribes organization under the banner of UTA had blocked Bari, which resulted into a carnage later killing two local agitating youth. These are the UTA members charged for the agitation. Ramesh Tavadkar, Sports Minister, Prakash Shankar Vedi, former minister, Vasudev Meng Gaonkar, ex-MLA, Govind Gaude, independent candidate for 2012 assembly poll, Prakash Arjun Vedi, MGP candidate for 2012 assembly poll, Sairu Vedi, journalist, Savita Tavadkar, wife of Ramesh Tavadkar, Vikas Dekar, Maru Vedi. These are the sections snapped against the charged. Section 143, punishment for unlawful assembly. Section 147, Punishment for Rioting Section 148, Rioting Armed with Deadly Weapon Section 436, Mischief by Fire or Explosive Substance with Intent to Destroy House Section 427, Mischief Causing Damage to Amount of 50 Rupees Section 188, Disobedience to Order Duly Promulgated by Public Servant Section 153, Provocation with Intent to Cause Riot if Rioting be Committed, if Not Committed Section 324, Voluntary Causing Hurt by Dangerous Weapons or Means. Section 332, Voluntary Causing Hurt to Deter Public Servant from His Duty. Section 353, Assault or Criminal Force to Deter Public Servant from Discharge of His Duties. However, court has discharged 12 others. The name of the discharge includes Advocate Narendra Sawekar, BJP South Goa Probable Candidate for Lok Sabha Poll. These are the names of the discharged. Narendra Sawaikar, Anand Vedip, Ravindra Gaonkar, Rupesh Tawadkar, Suman Gaonkar, Nishan Gaonkar, Rajendra Vedip, Dr. Divakar Vedip, Ganesh Vedip, Sudhakar Gaonkar, Roidas Vedip and Prashant Vedip. Next hearing on UTA case has been scheduled on 6 January. Meanwhile, Alex Reginald has said that they are closely monitoring Parikar's move in the Bali carnage case as his minister has been charged sheeted. Janna Janna Hunchaj. Minister O MLA Chashit Zala, TJ Opposition Leader Manor Parigar Bob Matalo. Now I want to see, this is a very good uh, case wherein a BJP minister has been chashited. I want the government, I want to know from the government what they are doing. Miki does not want to speak out clearly. If this government understands the consequences, let them understand and, and let them take their decision. Sports 
senior reporter Laukik Shilkar with Samir Bhatt and video journalist Omkar Farari for Prudent. Another rape on a foreign national, this time at Mandre. Davoli Airport Police arrested rape accused Krishna Sharma at Davoli Airport while he was trying to flee. Krishna Sharma, native of UP Ghaziabad, was caught while boarding a flight to Delhi. Sharma was conducting yoga classes in Goa. The accused allegedly raped foreign national at Mandre about three days back. One of the victim's friend took the initiative and informed Padne police about the incident. Matter is under investigation at present. It's time for a short break. Stay tuned. <laughs> 